pretty much all the gold shirts in and around the six yard box as Madison waits to try and deliver this one in as in dangerously Ruddy comes and claims good take from John Ruddy to try and create the space out wide for Matt Doherty Matt Doherty's in acres of room Jack Price spots it lovely diagonal ball out towards him taken on the chest infield to Cavalero first time back towards Doherty to try and get him behind but Edwards has tracked him superbly in turns and clears the ball but straight to Connor Ronan Ronan this is Cavalero to try and take it on Cavalero clipping the ball into the box and no one in a gold shirt there De Silva will have time to try and pick out a blue shirt he did so neatly to Grant Ronan though has stepped in and won it back again and might fancy one from distance and it was a decent effort well taken by Bond Jonathan Bond so our regular season games on Wolves TV certainly for Molyneux will be a multi-camera operation and we'll have the timings and scores on screen as Matt Doherty does well to try and get down the right hand side and it goes behind for a corner this is Sylvain Delon for Wolves trying to knock it in behind for Vinagre good run flag has stayed down as well Vinagre just battling away with De Silva Lopez and he's got the better of him couple of step overs neat work trying to drill it into the wards the near post and it was well taken Joe Mason was the closest Wolves man to it although I don't think he was expecting the low cross in 45 pound for the season and live audio commentary of every game good corner swept in Miranda got his head to it couldn't quite get enough on it Price will try and keep it alive just rather hooked it high in the air Cavalero couldn't get onto the end of it Doherty won the first header well went back by Bart Price trying to slip it through and Cavalero and Mason both had the same idea rather got in each other's way not sure either would have got onto the end of it anyway In comes Ronan's delivery, dangerous one, Cavalero was trying to get on the end of it. It's going to drop for Marriott to try and bring it away and he was caught by Danny Barr. With myself and Eddie Thompson, the same as we provided last year. This is Cavalero trying to work it towards the left, now trying to get back in field, just being held up by Hughes, but still going, Cavalero and struck it, it was a decent effort. Didn't quite dip enough towards the end Ivan Caballero but that's much better for him showed good strength first to work it out towards the left hand side and then to cut back in field and hold off the big defender and get the shot away this is Josh Tibbetts on in goal for Peterborough second half that was a poor pass by Cartwright this is Anabakare for Wolves trying to turn it in field so you want it for Saiz who tries to clip it out to the right hand side for Graham Graham just let it roll away from him for a moment still has possession of it again trying to find room to deliver the cross was just blocked off in the end by Andrea Borg four minutes into the second half delivered in dangerously oh and it went all the way through Romain Saiz and Willie Bolly not far off from connecting on that decent delivery in from Barry Douglas Oh, he's onside here. It's Joe Mason trying to drive his way through into the penalty area. Still Mason running, striking it. Good save. Well saved by Josh Tibbetts. Joe Mason, for the first time really in the game, managed to find himself some space and a little bit of free room to run in behind. Can't wait for the new season. Hashtag Wolves a -win. Mason out to Graham. Graham trying to get some space on that right hand side that's neat trickery to cut infield now trying to go back on the outside onto his right foot and fires in across but there's only really Mason in there and he will come this change it is going to be Austin Samuels Joe Mason lasting just over an hour tonight Dangerous free kick to defend. 68 minutes on the clock. Still nil nil here at the ABAC Stadium, aka London Road. Whipped in by Forrester, well headed away by Barry Douglas. He wasn't to know where Lewis Freestone was behind him. Set piece then for Peterborough. 
living in dangerously. It's going to come towards the edge of the penalty area. It bounced up awkwardly for Borg. Saiz might be able to launch a bit of a counter attack here. Austin Samuels was the man down the middle. Jordan Graham couldn't quite get a touch onto it, but Jota has done superbly well to feed it through to Graham this time. Graham sweeping across. Samuels arriving. Samuels scores. What a moment for the youngster. Austin Samuels opens his walls. First team account in style. Lovely breakaway goal from one end of the field to the other. And in the end, it was Jota who released Graham, who swept it in. And there was Austin Samuels. Graham says, oh, to have a young gun come through like Keane with the backing we have now. This is Jota. Back to Samuels. Might open up for a second. Didn't quite catch it right. Looked lively since he came on, Austin Samuels. Samuels spent a long time looking down to this near side towards the assistant referee. Is, oh, and Ibakari has won it back. And Ibakari into the penalty. He might have overrun it. Good save by the goalkeeper again. <laughs> Lewis Freestone was the man who got himself into all sorts of bother. Just maybe trying to overplay it a touch. Jota maybe should have just taken it on. And switch across to Jordan Graham. Now Graham up against Ball. Cutting in field, now back on the outside. Has time on his right foot, he'll cut back in field away from him. Excellent stuff from Jordan Graham and then rather wasted the cross and you can see the frustration for Jordan Graham.